Hey everyone, thanks for tuning into CryptoZX. I really appreciate you stopping by my channel today. To all my viewers watching my video right now, can I please ask you guys to smash that like button and hit the red subscribe button if you haven't already. This does help with the channel tremendously and it also keeps me motivated on making videos for you guys. But with that being said, let's jump right in today's content. Alright guys, before I begin, I would like to say the disclaimer. Anything on this channel should not be taken as financial advice because I am not a financial advisor. Cryptocurrencies are super volatile, so please do your own due diligence and research before investing in these markets. Looking at the overall crypto market cap today, we are currently setting up $1.42 trillion. We're down 3.5% in the last 24 hours. Meanwhile, BTC dominance is currently sitting at 43.5%. All right, guys, this is an emergency update for you guys, especially for Bitcoin and the altcoin markets. And I did mention in my earlier video today that if anything were to happen, uh, and if I felt like I wanted to inform you guys, um, you know, I will make an update and I'm bringing you guys an emergency update right now. As we can see in the markets, guys, we are seeing a lot of red across the board, especially in the last 24 hours. We are seeing Bitcoin going down 8.2%, taking the entire markets down with it. And, you know, this is not looking good for Bitcoin in the immediate short term. We will get right into Bitcoin charts and see what's exactly going on and where we could be going in the immediate short term. So, you know, let's waste no more time and get right into the Bitcoin charts. All right, guys, as you guys can see, uh, this is the Bitcoin chart right now. We were trading at $35,923 uh, today. We were unable to close above this level of support at this $36,200 mark. You guys know how important this level of support really is for Bitcoin. And I have been mentioning this to you guys uh, how crucial and how important this level of support really is so bitcoin was unable to uh, close above that and i did mention in my previous video if we're unable to close above it guys there's still a possibility for bitcoin price to go towards the downside and as you guys may know the last life support for bitcoin is at this $33,300 mark and right now as of recording this video guys we have seen bitcoin go below it and you know we did wick towards this 32,200 and $27 but since then we have seen some sort of price you know um you know appreciation towards the upside but still we're in the danger zone right now because we are below $33,200 mark so now you may be asking what can happen in the next coming hour or so. Um, so as you guys may know, uh, the weekend is coming to an end. And as you, uh, if you guys don't know, weekend tends to be the most manipulation in the cryptocurrency markets due to the fact that CME futures are closed. Uh, but, um, you know, right now, uh, so at some in some countries, uh, especially in North America, tomorrow it is going to be Monday. CME futures do open once again, uh, but we are seeing Bitcoin price in the danger zone, and we are seeing, uh, you know, bears having some sort of uh, powerful momentum on their side right now, unless we do bounce back above this thirty-three thousand three hundred dollar level and gradually move towards the upside. Um, you know, we do not want a Bitcoin to go below $31,000, guys. If we, you know, if we do not get a more buying pressure, you know what, let's, you know, switch to the one hour time frame so we can get a better understanding as to what is going on. So what we need to see for Bitcoin to do is that if we are unable to get you know, uh, some buying pressure to kick in around this $31,000 mark, uh, you know, then guys, things can start looking very, very ugly for Bitcoin indeed. So we do need to keep an eye on this level. Um, so right now we are trading at $33,000. So let's hope we do have some sort of bounce back towards the upside. But right now, as of recording this video, guys, we are definitely in the danger zone and um, you know so far if this is the final wick towards the downside before we do see some sort of a price reversal this was a clear bull trap guys this right here that we did see around here this was a bull trap and we did see the price uh, go towards the downside but right now bitcoin is trying to get above this level of support if it gets above it and starts gradually going towards the 36k level, great. Everything is starting to look good and that's what we want to see happen. But, uh, you know, if we do not, um, uh, if we're unable to go above this level, guys, then, you know, this is basically, you know, where we need Bitcoin to bounce back up from around this $31,000 to be exact. We need more buying pressure to kick in. Right now, we're not seeing 
that type of a uh, bull uh, you know bulls trying to uh, buy up this uh, dip around this 31,000. We need a lot of buying pressure to kick in around this level for us to have a bounce back. If that's unable to happen, guys, then you guys know the drill. 30,000 is the last basically bet for Bitcoin. And if we go below this, this entire upward, uh, you know, higher lows that we have been seeing over the last one month will be invalidated and it will feel like this did not happen. So as of now, we are sitting in some danger zone but we will see what happens so I wanted to put that out there and right now if we are looking at uh, you know BTC dominance we are starting to see BTC dominance go once again in this green zone and we do not want to see it climb up towards the upside if we do, which I believe it will happen if we do see Bitcoin drop even uh, more lower let's say it goes to thirty thousand dollars we will definitely see BTC dominance go towards the upside that's just how the markets tend to work if we do see a crash in the market especially Bitcoin's price we do tend to see BTC dominance increase quite a bit and you know that is definitely a possibility that we could be seeing in the next coming hours if a Bitcoin is you know stays within this danger zone so that could definitely mean more uh, you know a downwards momentum for altcoins if you're an altcoin holder this is some sort of warning short-term warning guys again I still do not believe you know the bottom uh, I'm sorry not the bottom the bull run is over I do not believe that I'm a strong believer that you know this is just more manipulation occurring due to the fact that we are seeing a lot of FUD if you guys go on Google look up Bitcoin you guys will see feet you know FUD after FUD after FUD like everything on here is all like you know bad articles regarding Bitcoin and you know that is a fueling you know Bitcoin price towards the downside obviously retail investors right now are very very scared especially the new money that has come into the markets over this past year they're on the sidelines they're scared and you know this is what the whales want initially they love seeing panic across the board because you know what they do when they do see major panic they are accumulating while there's a mad fear across the board um, uh, but uh, you know that's what is looking for a Bitcoin guy so you know we do need to keep an eye on Bitcoin dominance very closely uh, if we are unable to go above this $33,200 uh, mark and gradually go towards the upside guys and you know we do break below 30k I mean $31,000 then yes we can expect a BTC dominance to have a sharp increase towards the upside and we could definitely see altcoins bleed even harder so be prepared for the altcoin holders and you know if we're looking at the overall uh, market cap right now you guys can see we have wicked all the way down towards this 1.335 trillion dollars and obviously we do not want to go back down to this level guys around this 1.3 trillion if we go back down here this is a major uh, support for Bitcoin around this one point I'm sorry this entire market cap at this 1.193 trillion dollars this is basically you know the last uh, bet for the overall markets uh, you know uh, bullish in my opinion to stay bullish this is the last resort if we break below it then guys things will start looking totally different for the entire market as a whole but we will see what happens hopefully we do have a bounce back up uh, in the next coming hour or so uh, and you know maybe tomorrow morning when I do make uh, my VeChain and Cardano update for you guys we might be uh, you know trading above this level of support so we will see what happens but I wanted to put this update out there for you guys. Guys, you know, if you're in for the long haul, I always like sharing this uh, with my viewers. If you're in for the long haul and you have done your due diligence and research and have invested what you can afford to lose, guys, you will always see these kind of pullbacks, market going towards the downside, quite significant drops in cryptocurrencies. But if you have done those two things, guys, holding would be your best strategy to follow. Long term, guys, you cannot even put a price on Bitcoin's future along with uh, some of the altcoins with real use cases, guys. So your best bet, uh, you know, would be this is coming from a guy that has been in the markets for quite a few years, guys. You know, if you, best thing for you uh, to do is just, you know, get off the, uh, you know, phone, stop looking at the charts 24/7, go enjoy life, and um, you know, that's what matters. Life is most important thing at the end of the day. Cryptocurrencies are not going anywhere. We will see sideways momentum this sometimes this could be very very boring we could see bloodbaths across the board like we are seeing right now for instance and you know that could be a you know very very scary for you guys but again 
This is why it's important to always invest where you can afford to lose, guys. I cannot stress this enough. We always keep things realistic on this channel. I have never, ever said on this channel that we're going straight up to the moon and all my regular viewers can vouch for me on that. We look at all the realistic, uh, you know, um, uh, scenarios and come up with the mo most likelihood of possibility that it's going to occur. Right now, we are in the bearish you know, end of the spectrum for Bitcoin. And at the end of the day, Bitcoin is a king of the markets and it rules the market. So we need to be playing very, very close attention to this Bitcoin's price. And we need, if we do drop to this 31.5 or this even possibly $31,000 mark, guys, we need to see more buying pressure kick in. If that does not happen, guys, then things could start looking scary. And, um, you know, as much as I hate saying this, I have to put this out there for you guys. And obviously, if we do go into the daily time frame, we are still quite below this 50 EMA and along with this 20 EMA. But we need to be above uh, this 50 uh, moving average, guys, because in this entire bull run, or if we even go historically, we have never seen a Bitcoin below obviously we do have seen wicks towards the downside but we have not seen us go below these two moving averages so we need to stay above there at all cost and right now that is quite a stretch so we do need to keep very very close eye on this as well but let me know in the comment section below what you guys think uh what are you guys doing around this time are you guys scooping up more altcoins um, or are you guys just holding and just waiting on the sidelines let me know in the comment section below and where could you guys see you know, Bitcoin along with altcoins go in the next uh, month of July. You know, June is coming to an end almost absolutely insane, guys. I cannot believe this month has, you know, flew by very, very fast. Um, you know, in this entire year, I believe June is the fastest month that has went by. Uh, but, you know, let me know in the comment section below where you guys could see Bitcoin and the overall market headed in the next month. I would love to know your thoughts down below. And guys, do not forget to... You know, um, come join the Telegram group chat, guys. If you have not joined this Telegram group chat, guys, what are you waiting for? It's free to join. A link in the description box below. We talk about cryptocurrencies, the latest news and trends revolving around the space, and just have a great time at the end of the day. During these times, guys, when we do see a lot of bloodbath across the board, maybe talking to someone might make you feel better. So come join the group and let's build this community together. And thank you, thank you, thank you for taking your time out of your day to come watch my update. I appreciate each and every one of you guys and I do this for all my regular supporters and that you know view my channel every single day. You guys know who you are. I love you guys and always remember your support does not go unnoticed and stay safe out there guys because at the end of the day safety, health and family comes first and everything else absolutely comes later. With that being said, I will see you guys tomorrow morning where we will be discussing, you know, some altcoins that I cover on a daily basis. And we will obviously look at the entire Bitcoin and obviously the Bitcoin dominance charts as well around there. So see you guys tomorrow. And it's been CryptoZX and peace out.